The next thing we are going to style on this form is the choose image button. So on the finished project, the choose image button is being displayed uh, side by side with the topic selector. And the way the choose image button works is you click on the button and then your file explorer or file manager pops up and then you can select an image and a preview of that image will be displayed where you had the button. Now in this video we are focusing only on the design of this button and in making sure that it is being displayed side by side with the topic, topic selector. As for this uh, functionality where you click and choose the image, it is being done with JavaScript and we are going to implement this particular functionality in the next video. So for this video we are focusing only on styling the image to look like it is looking right now. So our first step is to make sure that this button is being displayed on the right and is occupying about 30% of the space while the topics uh, selector is occupying about 70% of the page. Now if you take a look at the HTML for this, you will see that both the uh, topic selector and the choose image button are being displayed in a div called uh, post details. So we have two elements inside the post details uh, div, that is the image wrapper which has the button and the select topic wrapper which has the topic selector. So let us grab this particular class, the post details class. It is remember it is inside admin form. So in our style in our admin style.css file, we will scroll to the area where we define the styles for forms, that is admin forms. And then we will first of all select the admin form. And then inside that admin form, we have post details. I will give it a red border so that we can see what it looks like on the screen. Okay, like I mentioned, it has the button and the topic selector. Now we are going to display using flex so that um, when you use flex by default, uh, all the child elements are going to be displayed in the row direction. So we expect this now to be displaying side by side. Okay, that's exactly what is happening now. Now there are two child elements of the post details. Let us also select them. The first one is the select topic wrapper. So we select that. And then the other one is the image wrapper. Image wrapper. So now I'm going to give each of them a border as well. Give one of them a blue border and the other one a red border. Okay, so here are the two of them. We have not assigned any widths to them, so they are occupying their natural widths. So let us go ahead and assign a width to each of them. And remember what I said earlier, when you are using flex on the parent uh, container, it is usually uh, recommended to use flex basis for the width as opposed to the actual width uh, property. So the topic right, the topic wrapper, we want it to have a width of about 70%. And then um, the image wrapper, we have, want it to have the remaining 30%. So if you refresh, we see the structure is now uh, gradually uh, showing. I'm going to remove the border since we can now see their widths on the screen. Okay, so what we want is for the image to be somehow a bit centralized. The choose image button to kind of centralize. So we are going to give some paddings to the image wrapper. We'll give it a padding at the top of 25 pixels, then zero pixels left, sorry, right, then zero pixels bottom and 20 pixels to the right. 
refresh okay and you can see now that it is uh, at the same level or at least almost the same level as the input field here okay so we need now to give dimensions on the choose image button so let us select the um let us select the button itself remember we gave it a or we didn't give it any class uh, let me just say to uh, image button okay so image button we are going to copy that class um, it is found inside the image wrapper so let's copy the style for image wrapper and then we add image button okay we want it to have the entire width of 30 percent of its parent so we'll give it a width of 100 percent and we did give a height of 52 pixels to our input our control uh, right here and we want our choose image button to have the same height as um as the input elements or as the input control so we will also give it a height of 52 pixels we make it slightly round so we'll give it a border radio radius of 3 pixels we'll give it a border of 1 pixel solid light uh, gray actually this is not going to be solid as you can see on the finished project uh, the border is a little bit dashed so let us change it to dashed then we'll give it a display of flex then align item center then justify content center that way we centralize um, the contents of the image okay the contents of the image to the middle let's refresh and we have our button okay if you take a good look at the icon however you're going to notice that it's a little bit um, out of line like horizontally so let us bring it down just a little bit now this is just me being uh, too picky about stars you can probably leave it like that and it will be fine but i want us to pick the icon inside the image which is we gave it a class of image outline so we pick that and when you want to displace an element from its natural position we use the transform okay then we give it a translate we want to move it on the vertical axis so we choose y and we want to move it let me see down a little bit so we are taking it to the negative or y axis so let's let's first of all give it a ridiculously high value and see how it moves okay it goes up okay so the negative is up and then positive is down that's a bit confusing I actually thought negative is down and then positive is up all right anyway we wanted to move it down a little bit and moving it down by two pixels i think it kind of makes it look on the same level as the text okay so that's it for the design of the choose image button so in the next video we are going to uh, make this button interactive so that when you click on the button um, when you click on the button it is going to open your file explorer and then you can select an image and then that image will be pre the preview of that image will be displaying on the button all right so we are going to be making this interactivity possible uh, using javascript so see you in the next video